You've heard a lot about systems and um, the central office. And by the way, I'm surrounded by three fabulous people in the central office, only to be outshined by our secretaries, who are really the, the, the heart and soul of the central office. But um, we have such tremendous talent in the central office, it's, it's really fun to come to work. Um, we talk a lot about systems and systems that need to be in place across the district, across in many areas, so that if we have a change in administration, and which we will have a change in administration, that's 100%. Someday we will have change in administration. Um, we need systems in place, so we have processes and procedures that are institutionalized, and so if there's a change, that those systems will stay in place. Um, one thing exciting about our transitions and what Diane is doing is we now have a vertical communication and vertical conversation in the district, and that's only going to become more and more prevalent. Um, early childhood needs to talk to the elementary schools. The elementary schools need to talk to the middle school. The middle school needs to talk to the high school and all the way back down again. We need to have that communication across across all the levels so that we know what what at elementary is is being done and achieved so that at middle school they can move on. And that's tough to have those conversations, but it's, it's something I think we need. Um, we did have a great day at the board retreat on October 6th. We spent a long day. We looked at our CSIP plan. Once again, that's kind of a... Um, a focus on what's going on here. The CSIP plan is to the district as the Constitution is to the country. It's very important to, to know what's in that CSIP plan, to have an a absolute uh, belief and, and connection to across the district, and our CSIP plan really does need to be revised and, and tweaked. So we, did, we looked at that and we've done some work on that. Um, we have there were three goals that I kind of took everything that we talked about that day and put them into three goals. This is very, very early, and I'm not handing them out to you because they will change. They, it's a very early um, document, but the goals are, number one, Marshall Public Schools will provide and maintain a safe and supportive environment which contributes to the academic success, confidence, and happiness of all students. Goal two, Marshall Public Schools will recruit, support, and retain highly effective teachers, staff, and leaders who find joy in the workplace and are dedicated to the district's mission of excellence. Goal three, Marshall Public Schools will encourage the involvement of all students, families, school employees, and taxpayers, and will work to establish and maintain cooperation across the entire school community. I think that those are our three um, great goals and our CSIP plan moving forward based on those goals I think will be a, a tremendous boost for Marshall. I'm, I'm really excited about the, the um, energy and the enthusiasm the board has shown to, to tackle that CSIP plan. It is not an easy task to do. We also talked about our um, uh, one big major portion of the conversation in our retreat was the desire to raise salaries for our teachers and employees in the district. Um, we know that we've lost several good teachers to neighboring districts. We agreed that we want Marshall to be the district where candidates compete to come here because everyone wants to be here. That's where we want to move forward. Um, we want our, our students to have the very best teachers possible that the state of Missouri can, can offer. One, uh, we've been compiling quite a bit of data. The, there are 18 Missouri school districts that are within 200 students of, of Marshall size. Uh, the lowest district pays $27,650. The highest pays $41,000 for their base pay. And Marshall pays $31,250. So out of 18 uh, schools, Marshall ranks eighth in that order. So we've, we've looked at that and looked at what um, salaries and, and pay means to the district and how important it is that we value our teachers and let them know that. And in the past, I know we've done the very best we possibly can with what we have, but it really is a goal of the, of the board. Um, we know that we have to continue to provide a safe environment for kids. That's been a real challenge this, um, this fall. We've had... We started out before school, even started with air conditioning issues. 
Um, we've had mold issues. We've had gas leaks. Um, they are all fixed now. Our buildings are safe and our kids are doing very well in them. But we know that we have to give those buildings attention. Um, there just isn't any way that we can um, continue to sit uh, and hope that, our, that what's in our buildings will last. It just it won't last forever and we're to the point where I feel that we're going to need to really pay some attention and we're going to has, have to ask the community to help us with that. Um, we just we really need, need to work on our facilities also. So I would like to um, hold a school finance and budget information session. Um, the date will be decided by the board and we'll cover how the district is funded through federal, state, and local monies, how a budget is built and how it can be built to reflect the CSIP plan and the goals of the Board of Education, the hopes of the community. So as soon as we get that date, I will publicize that and let the folks in the community know they are more than welcome to come to that meeting. And lastly, the CSIP, uh, the CTA and I will be holding a meet and confer setting at 3.30 on Monday. They are a great bunch. I enjoy meeting with them. And so if any of the board is interested in coming and talking to the CTA and um, listening to what we have going on communication-wise with the central office and the rest of the district, particularly our teachers, you are more than welcome. <laughs>